<laughs> you want to see a circus? Come to San Hollow Reservoir on a Saturday in the afternoon. <laughs> Well, we got past that circus, got the boat in the water, just in time for the lightning to start. So we're gonna sit tight for a second, see what happens. Well, we're laying low, close to the shore right now. A lot of lightning. We're not even gonna bother trying to get the boat back out of the water. Because just, look at this. As you can see, it's, chaos and you can also see how the storm's rolling in so we're just gonna sit tight get wet wait for it to pass and then uh we'll see if we can catch a bass or a bluegill or both here it comes we got all our rods down lay it low storms building all around us we just had one pass over uh, we got a window now so we're gonna try and fish until another one pops back up which could happen but uh, to continue doing the, the sand hollow reservoir videos I think it's just gonna be better if I like highlight different lures uh, so I'm gonna try that route for a while otherwise it could just get a little monotonous doing you know 
the reservoir is not big as you can see so I think we'll try that for a little while and uh, today we're gonna try a couple different things um, I've got two different uh, plastics I've got Guggen baits trench hog and that's what this thing looks like here I'm gonna fish this uh, Texas rigged I may try this drop shot but uh, looks pretty interesting it is stinky Jen's gonna start out drop shopping uh, these one of these zoom it's a trick worm super salt plus sour grape she's gonna drop shot this and that's what this one looks like color wise and the water is pretty vibrant sparkly what do you think Jen think it's gonna do it we're gonna go into some deeper water. Water temperature is 78 degrees. That's right, it's bath water, so. Um, is the fishing good in the hot summer like this? Can be. I've had mixed results. You know, everybody has different experiences, but uh, we're gonna see if we can find one today. All right, I got the trench hog Texas rigged, as you can see. We'll try it this way for a while. I can drop shot this too. Jen's got a drop shot on with hers, and uh, let's see if we can get one. Not even a strike yet. Lots of traffic on the water. Be expected. So we're kind of staying in between 20 to 40 feet of water. We're kind of working the western part of the reservoir. Nothing. Doesn't mean they're not here. Well, it's every bit of 105 or 10 degrees now. Ain't that right, Jim? Right. It is cooking. That was the ticket. Pretty nice. Yeah, and now I can resume fishing again. Got my lure. Gotta go for another one. So, got a hit on the trench hog. That is encouraging. You're in here. Except I only have six of these. <laughs> and I've already lost two. One thing to note on that hit, he hit it going down on the drop. The wind's laid down for a minute, so get this down, see if that happens with anything. Oh, yeah, the blue are hitting that. <laughs> Fish on, Jen! Fish on! <laughs> Thirty-two ounce, and uh, I'll show you this little uh, lure here. But uh, picking up some slabs down there at forty feet. So my amigo Robert was out here in his kayak fishing, and uh, he was using uh, one thirty-two ounce little crappie jig heads here, and he turned me on to the gulp alive in that color there, which you just saw, and that's picking up bluegill really nice takes a minute to get it down but uh, get it down to 40 feet they can't take it they're hitting on it they got my bait they're down there so while I'm sitting right here maybe I'll show you what that trench hog looks like in the water It's 
gonna get one today, I know it. So, Jen didn't get any action drop shot in this, but we have had hits on the trench hog, so we're gonna do it both ways. I'm gonna fish the trench hog Texas rig. Jen's gonna fish it drop shot, just like that. So that thing's gonna be flipping in the water. Looking like that, we're gonna go 40 feet down and see if we can connect. Yeah? Jen's gonna go drop shot and I'm actually gonna go back for some bluegill. All right, we're back in 40 feet of water. Let's get one. Get him, get him! Right, God, you didn't even... Nice, Jen. Sweet. Yeah. Oh yeah, bring him to me, bring him to me. trench hog man nice good catch Jen very nice man first cast in that bass hit it all right we know what's working now nice job Jen get that trench hog back in the water Get him. Hmm. I may have to switch from Texas rig to drop shot. Seems like the drop shot's getting a little more action, huh? It's working out. All right, well, Jen's had consecutive strikes back to back, so I'm gonna switch from the Texas rig and go to drop shot in these trench hogs. So I'm gonna take a second and uh, get that rigged up. So if you haven't uh, ever tied a drop shot, I've done this in the past. It's pretty easy. You want to get a strip of your preferred leader. I just like some fluorocarbon. For this, I'm using 10 pound fluorocarbon. And I've got a one knot split shot drop shot hook. And you're basically just gonna Wherever. What? Fish on? Oh no! Fish on! Ah! Just back on. Nice. Oh, I tried to save the bait. <laughs> Well, they're, they're hitting, man. They're hitting those drop shots very nice. I'll go back to my tutorial. <laughs> All right, so I passed, doubled the line over, passed it through the hook like that. And then you're just basically gonna tie a uh, overhand and then slip the hook back through that. Basically a Palomar knot. Get that down. Pretty simple. And wherever your leader is, you want to find that hooks down. And the easiest way to do this too is you just take that tail end here and then pass it back down to the hook like that. And that's your weighted end there. So when you put the weight on it, it's going to keep it down like that. Then you retie your leader. Back to your mono or braid or whatever you like. Pretty simple. As far as the weight, we're just using bullet weights, uh, quarter ounce. And get that in there. This just slips on to the bottom there. And you're in, man. Just 
like that. So now you can see how you get the hook there down with the weight. Pretty cool. Jen, really? You gonna drop the hemp? Oh, I'm going to come back. Um? False alarm. Fish on? Yeah, this one's got some stuff too. Oh yeah? Nice. I got mine in the water. Oh yeah. Show us what you got. Oh yeah. Pretty nice. Very nice, Jen. Very nice. This is a nice bass. Check that out, folks. What? <laughs> Woo! All right. Beauty. Yes, indeed. Very nice. <laughs> Drop shots killing them. I got my trench hog, though. Man, we're finding them now. Let's let this guy back. in 40 feet of water. That's where we've had all of our action. We haven't been near shoreline, dam, anything. Just stayed kind of near the western shore, shore here, but back of course, and then 40 feet just kind of working the line. And uh, we're finding them. But we're only finding them on those trench hogs. Jin's gone back to the worm, nothing. So, I don't know. There you have it, I guess. Fish on Jin. Yeah. See size? We need a net. Good. Oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> Just wanted to save that trench oh, hog. Nice. <laughs> nice. Good catch. I want a big one. Yeah. Hold her up for the camera. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. We're we talking net size? I think so, yeah. Oh, oh, he's, oh, he's peeling line. Nice. All right. Yeah. Play him, play him. Oh, yeah. And I think you got a good one here. Nice and slow. Oh, that's a nice bass, Jim. Oh, 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 oh. Jen, you hook. Oh, 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 oh. Holy cow. Woo! All right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Look at this, folks. Look at this. Check this one out. I did 
did say I wanted a big one. Did I say oh, I wanted closer. a big one? <laughs> Wow. All right, let's get some measurements on this one. Eighteen? Eighteen and a half. He's right at eighteen. Yeah? Go ahead, grab him. Hey. Hold him yeah. Look. Oh, wow, Jen. That is a... <laughs> let's get him in the sunlight here, so turn around a little bit, please. Oh man, look at that fish. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful <laughs> fish. Oh yeah. Let's see its mouth. Turn it this way. Look at that. Look at that, folks. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh, that is a beautiful fish, Jen. Suppose you kept the trench hog, did you? <laughs> I did not. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Man, awesome catch. That was definitely the fish of the day. Fantastic. Jim, another fish? <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Killing me. Nice. Oh, yeah. Save the bait. Well done. Well. All right, Jen, you want to end it on a high note? Yeah, well, we got into some bass today. Jen definitely made it nice with that big old 18 inch or so. Well done. And just to go over what we were doing, drop shotting. All our action came off drop shotting. I got a bluegill in that little lure, so. But uh, Jen definitely got the fish of the day. And um, you're using the Guggen Baits Trench Hog uh, Green Pumpkin. And uh, that was nailing them. They could not take it. So that's pretty cool highlighting baits. Uh, the, the worm we used, uh, or Jin used, didn't have any action. So there you have it, folks. We're out of here. We'll see you next time. Tight lines. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Support for the channel is greatly appreciated. See you next time. D-Rock out. Adios.